Leon Lee recently released their brand new Unifan SL wireless series fans and their brand new Strimmer wireless cable extensions that feature complete wireless control. In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect the Unifan SL wireless fans and how to configure them in L Connect. Before we begin, I just want to make this really clear that this guide is for demonstration purposes only. We make these kind of videos to help out those who are stuck or need some guidance because every system, every case and every cooling solution is different. This guide gives you the fundamental understanding of how this new lighting system and these new fans connect to your system. This guide is not about the correct way to install fans or how to install coolers or anything like that. From what I've seen so far with these fans, people either love them or they hate them. Either way, this video was designed to help people understand how they work. And if you've got any questions, make sure you watch the whole video before asking any questions because the truth is, I'm probably gonna answer most of them in this video anyway. But here are some of those inevitable questions. Yes, this guide also applies to the SL Wireless Unifans without the LCD display. I'll explain the differences throughout this video because I did show that part when I was filming. We're not covering how to connect the streamer cables because these are cable extensions and they require nothing other than plugging them into the cables to work. So, you know, if you have them plugged in, they're gonna work. If you don't have them plugged in, they're not gonna work. No, this will not work with AuraSync or RGB Fusion or your motherboard software in any way. Yes, there is more than one way to connect the L Wireless Sync setup. Now, I'm gonna cover this in the video, so make sure you pay close attention. I don't know about availability or pricing in your region at the time of filming this video, so please refer to your good old friend, Dr. Google. With that said, let's jump in. We've got a lot to cover. All right, this is a three pack of these new SL Unifan wireless fans. And essentially this will give you an understanding of how it all works. First of all, we've got this SATA cable. Basically what this does is this splits SATA power out to PWM power, but at full speed because the fans require additional power for both lighting and for the screens. There's three sets of fan screws if you're going to be attaching this to your case with those. There's the fan frame connector. This has PWM and USB. This is only required if you have the LCD version of the fans. There's the installation guide, but the whole point of this video is to be the installation guide, so get rid of that. There's a PWM slash USB cable that connects into the wireless dongle. This is optional, but I'll show how this is all connected in case you wanted to do it that way. One end is PWM and USB, and the other end is this connector, which plugs into the end of the USB dongle, which I'll show in a moment. Speaking of, this is the USB dongle. The end of it can be popped off to expose a USB connector, and this can be plugged into any USB port on your system for wireless control. As mentioned, the other end of the dongle has this connector in case you wanted to put the dongle inside of your system and not plug it in on the outside. And lastly, in this kit, you have three of these new SL LCD Uni fans, and these are wireless. You don't actually need to plug in any wires. Well, although that's not entirely true, that's the point of the video, to show you how to connect everything. All right, let's do that. Locate this cable here. This is the connector that will plug into the fan. You'll notice these holes are keyed. There's a large hole, and then there's a small hole and a set of pogo pins. And what we're going to do is orient that connector with the large key and the small key lining up to those holes. And essentially you just wanna lay it on top, push down and clip it into place. And it shouldn't come unplugged. A little known fact about these Leon Lee fans is these little connectors to daisy chain the fans can be removed if you wanna clean them up. You just rotate them and pop them out. Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to connect the fans together. You'll notice one side has pogo pins and the other has contact pads. Basically, what you want to do is line them up, but don't line them straight up. They will click into place with those keyed holes and you wanna push them and they will click into place. I'll show you this from another angle. You can basically just line it up with the opening on the hole and then push down to lock it into place. And again, one last time, line them up and push them down and then they will lock into place. And also, if you're curious, you can change the orientation of the cable by popping the top cap of the connector off 
and you can pull the cable over to the other side, feed it through the holder and then put that cap back on, you know, just in case. Let's start off with wiring. This is going to be ridiculously easy and you can see why they made it wireless. First of all, you'll want to locate the PWM and USB cable and for the non-LCD version, you'll want to use this cable. It is different, but it is also kind of the same. I hope this makes sense. The first method for powering the fans is using the motherboard. You'll want to locate this end here and locate a PWM fan header on your motherboard and then plug that PWM cable into your motherboard. And just like that, you'd have power. The second method is a little bit more complicated. You'll want to locate the SATA to three-way PWM fan cable and you want to locate the end for the PWM cable from your fan frame and you want to plug that into that three-way splitter. This supplies constant 12 volt power with no modulation. Locate the SATA power end of this cable. Then you'll need to get some SATA power from your PC's power supply and connect that cable together. Again, that will supply constant 12 volt power to your fans. Now we're going to connect the USB for the LCD. What you want to do is locate a USB 2.0 header on your motherboard and then plug that cable into your motherboard. That will allow for controlling the LCD screens on the fans. Now, this is method one for wireless connection. Super duper easy. Plug the wireless dongle into any USB port on your system and you'll be good to go. The second method is a little bit more complicated. You'll need to locate the USB dongle and look at this end of the dongle. You'll want to locate this cable with this connector here and very easily, this only plugs in one way, plug the cable into the end of the dongle and it should look a little something like this. You'll then have the PWM fan cable. You'll want to locate a PWM header on your motherboard. This is to power the dongle and plug that in and you should be good to go. And then lastly, you'll want to locate the USB end and plug that into another free USB 2.0 header on your motherboard. Very, very simple. Now, the simplest solution is, as shown, plugging the fans into the motherboard with no external power. This will only work if you set that PWM header to 100% fan speed. Otherwise, it just won't work. Your fans will glitch out and will do a whole bunch of weird stuff and it won't work. And essentially, the other thing is you'll want to have the wireless dongle plugged in and this is just a very simple RGB setup. It's not too complicated here. However, if you wanted to do the most complex setup for this, this is how complex it can get. You'll have the SATA power plugged into that three-way splitter to power the fan frame. You'll then have the USB plugged into the motherboard the same way that you would for the simple setup. And then you'd also have the USB going out to that wireless dongle with PWM supplying some extra power to the dongle. Even this setup here is not as complex as some other RGB setups. Now, the reason why I'm zipping through all of this is because the setup is very, very simple, even for those who've never built a PC before. But let's take a look at the software setup in L Connect. What you want to do is open the SL Wireless Fan Utility in L Connect, click Set Fan Quantity, and you'll notice it will wirelessly detect everything that is available and you want to use the locking icon to bind the device to the wireless dongle. So we'll just click those and you'll see what happens to the fans and the streamer cables. See, the first one is now adopted. Click the second one to adopt it and then the third to adopt that fan frame. And you can see you've got full control now and there's no cables connecting any of it. And if you've used L Connect before, Everything is exactly the same from here on out. So even changing the RGB, changing all the stuff on the LCD screens, everything is exactly the same as you'd see probably from any other L Connect setup, which makes it very, very nice and very, very integrated. Even zipping ahead, you can see that any of the effects work. What's even more interesting than all of this is now your streamer cables are wireless too. So you don't have to worry about plugging an extra RGB control box in for the lighting on your cables. This can all be done in L Connect completely wirelessly. And the way this works is it doesn't use any external power. It pulls the power from the cable that you plug into your power supply through the extension. Very, very simple setup. And 
as you would think, you can synchronize everything, you can have everything individually controlled, but going back to the LCD controls on the fans themselves, you can do it the same way that you would do with the screen on your cooler or any other of the Unifan LCD fans that have existed previously. So basically the, what they've done is just removed all of the cables and made this completely wireless. Well, not all the cables, but most of them. One thing I was curious about was whether or not you could control fans across the room. And it turns out you can. I powered this set of three fans with another power supply and I used the SATA to PWM connector that comes with the kit and it works. It There was no fluffing about, it just works. So technically, if you wanted to, you could wirelessly control the RGB for this setup from another computer, which to be honest, is probably something that I'll be doing for build videos and case reviews, because if I have a lighting setup, I don't need to have the operating system installed on those computers anymore if I don't need to. I just think this is really, really cool. And it actually has a very good use case, especially for people like me who build PCs and showcase PCs that don't necessarily want to have an operating system on the PC. Cool, right? I think I covered pretty much everything in this video. And if you've got any questions, feel free to drop a comment down below. I'm sure someone in the comments will be able to help you out or I'll reply. Hopefully this video helped you though. And like I said, we make these videos to help out those who don't necessarily have all of the technology in the world. But with this wireless system, as you've seen, it is super duper easy. And if this video did help you, let me know. I want to know. If you like the video and you want to support the channel, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, all that stuff that YouTube is telling you to do. If you didn't like this video, that's fine. Once again, thank you so very much for watching. I'm your boy, Nick with Gear Seekers. You peak. We seek. But before we finish out this video, I wanted to show you guys just how good the wireless setup is in this. Ready? So I've got like the computer over here with L Connect running, and I've got a set of the wireless fans over here somewhere. And I'll just show you, I'll change the setting here to just something else, and you'll see the fans behind me on the table will change. There's no trickery going on here. There's quite literally no computer connected to those fans behind me. It is all just wireless. How cool is that? Look, how cool is that? That's awesome, right? Just complete wireless RGB control. Thanks for watching.